Hello and welcome to The Snug. I don't really know what to call it to be honest, but I'm gonna call it The Snug. It's basically like a living space that is attached to our kitchen, but isn't our formal living room. It's maybe like a not formal living room? Who knows? But anyway, I love it. This is a space that we relax in lots of the time, often when one of us is cooking, the other person's in here relaxing, and I can't wait to show you it. And this room has been through one heck of a transformation. So what I'm gonna do right now is insert some footage of what it was like when we moved into this house, what this room looked like. It was very different to now. It's completely changed. And then now I'm gonna insert some footage of what it looks like today. So as you can see, this room has undergone a huge transformation and I cannot wait to show you around. So let's hop in. So let's start over in this little corner. To my right, your left, we have the doors to the patio. So we do have doors all along this side of the house which open onto the garden. We actually don't open these ones that much, but maybe we should do it a little bit more. We have painted them a color called Hardwick White. And then we have these curtains which are actually black out. So if you want to black this room out, we can. Don't we know why we'd do that? We've never done that, but we do have that option. And the bar at the top is just from Zara Home. I don't actually know where the curtains are from, but I know that the bar that they're hanging off is from Zara Home, okay? Right, let's turn around and talk about the shelves because the shelves are a key feature in this room, probably the biggest feature of this room. And I know the question that you're probably gonna ask is what color are they? Because they came fitted in this house, but they were white and we painted them with a color called Lick Green 02, I think it was called. So yes, we painted all of these shelves the same shade of green and we have adorned them with many, many things. So we have got everything from, of course, houseplants. Guys, what would, what would our house be without houseplants? We have many, many houseplants. We have lots of antiques. Many of the items that are on these shelves are antiques sourced from antique markets that I went to with Jojo from House Nine Design, who is the queen behind the design of this room. Down here, quite excitingly, we have these two prints. Now these are taken by my friend Chris and he took these when we were in Switzerland together and I got them blown up and printed out and framed and I think they look perfect in this room because Switzerland is one of my favourite countries. And just below, I'm just going to take a little squat, we have got these little bolsters. So these are like poofs that you can sit on, to be honest, I think we've used them a couple of times, but they do look very aesthetic. These are custom made by House Nine Design, the team who designed this room, and they are absolutely beautiful. They have these little handles on the side that you can't really see, but I'll try and show you up close. You can use those to maneuver them around the room. And yeah, they're very convenient, very easy, very comfy. And also they really fit with the, you know, the vibes, the colors, the tones, the aesthetic of the room. Let's go back up. Of course we have Stacy. She is absolutely thriving, guys. She's almost reaching the floor. I don't need to show you, but basically, she's almost reaching the floor. She is living her best life. More antiques, more pots. My Plantopedia book that my brother got me. I've got my complete book of British birds from 1992, the year that I was born, because I love watching the birds out of this window. Don't even judge me. And let's go along to the next shelf. Nothing majorly of note on this shelf. It is just little books, antiques, bottles. These are like little antique pots. These are my mum's. This is from my mum's kitchen. I think they were my grandma's like butter. You know what they used to like shape butter? Is that what you use this for? I don't know. But mum gave me it, so I have displayed it in the house. She also gave me this, which is a little antique ginger beer bottle from Hesel, which is the town where my mum grew up in East Yorkshire. So it's really nice to have antiques which we picked up from antique markets, but also to have antiques with some meaning, which are from my parents and my loved ones. So that is super nice. And then yeah, lots of different books. Tried to keep the books on brand. So they're about things like wildflowers, wild animals, trees, greenery, outdoors, all that good stuff. So yeah, here you go. Those are our shelves and I am obsessed with it. And you might ask how we clean them. It's with a feather duster, okay? <laughs> and coming round to our little sofa and art wall, this sofa, again, this is custom made by Jojo from House Nine Design. It's a mustard color. Never imagined in my life having a mustard color sofa in my home, but I think it looks amazing with the green shelves, so I'm really, really pleased with it. It's made from a velvet material and it is super duper comfy. So yes, we have our mustard velvet sofa. The cushions are all from miscellaneous locations don't really know where they're all from i'm not gonna not gonna lie i'm sorry but i don't know where they're all from but i do know that the art is curated by the team at kramer and bell and it's all from local 
British artists and I just think it's really, really nice to have ones which not only fit with our colour palette, but I know are from independent British creatives and artists and often have an element of nature in them, as you can see, like trees, dried leaves, birds, all that good stuff. So really like the colours and textures of this art wall and that was done by the lovely team at Crane and Bell. And let's just turn around in front of the sofa. This table is from Nakuku. And actually, when we first ordered it, it arrived with a broken leg. So we had to get it sent back and it came back again, all fully functioning, all legs intact, which is fantastic. So this is from Nakuku. I'm not 100% sure where our rug is from, if you can see it down here. Um, but I think this is from La Redoute. La Redoute. Not 100% sure. We furnished this room like almost 18 months ago. So I am starting to forget where things are from. Um, and I'm not sure where this is from, but this little woven basket with our plant in is from um, Beards and Daisies. They have really nice woven, oh, and Hortology is another place to get woven um, plant pots, which are lined with plastic, so you can water your plants, not worry about damaging the basket. So Hortology and Beards and Daisies have some really nice woven plant pots. And then when I stand up, come on up, we have these lovely big lampshades, which are woven. And these are again from Nakuku. Guys, we love a little bit of Nakuku in this household. So table's Nakuku, these are Nakuku. And should we turn around and have a little look at these shelves over here too? So before I hop into that shelf, let me quickly show you this poof on the floor. This is in front of our Nakuku table. We actually have two of these. They're both from La Redoute. La Rudette, La Redoute, I think that's how you pronounce it. And these are actually really well used. All of our guests come and plonk their little bums on these when they're sitting around in the snug. So yeah, we have two of those in front of the table. Let's move on to this shelf back here. To be honest, not loads to report about this shelf. It's very similar to the other two. It is in the Lick Paint Colour Green 02. It is adorned with books, with baskets, with plants, with antiques, with cacti with all that good stuff. This is a nice little shelf full of goodies. So as you come from the shelf around into the snug, you'll see we have this double doorway, which goes into the hallway and the stairs and the rest of the house. And we come to this beautiful picture of a bird. He's called Harold. Harold the house nine bird with his green beak and his green feet. And he is big and powerful. So he is framed just here. This is again, as I said, a print from house nine design. Behind me, we have the door into the pantry. I'm not gonna show you, but I am gonna say it's pretty damn beautiful. So stay tuned because there will be a full tour of the pantry coming soon. And then as you come around this way, it does take you to the kitchen, which will be a tour for another day. But on the way over, we have this shelving unit, which is packed full of goodies. We have these woven baskets, which are from a company called House Doctor. Then we have some little candle holders from the Cuckoo and we have some antiques as well that we picked up at the markets. So a nice little mix of new and old items thrown together onto the shelves. So now you're seeing the snug from the kitchen. So you are stood in the kitchen in the entrance way between the two rooms. So you can see how blooming lovely it looks, not gonna lie. I love this view with the green shelf, yellow sofa, art wall, PS de la resistance. But I want to also pop in here and talk about Charlie. This is Charlie the cheese plant. He is the centerpiece of this whole household, let's be honest, but definitely the centerpiece of the snug. He is, I mean, if I'm six foot two, he is at least eight foot tall. And we got him from RHS Wisley, which is a garden center in Surrey. He was a beast to get into this house and he has just grown and blossomed and thrived since he moved here. We have to keep trimming him back because he keeps hitting the roof and trying to just take over the whole snug and the whole kitchen. So. He's a happy boy in here because he has lots of natural light and he has underfloor heating. So I just feel like he thinks he's in a tropical rainforest. <laughs> so he is living his best life. I absolutely love Charlie and he's just one of my, I think he is my ultimate favorite houseplant. I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed. We have come into the final corner of the snug. Please excuse the fact that we've closed the curtains because it's so sunny today. Such a beautiful sunny winter's day. And this chair that I'm sat on, this is Arlo and Jacob chair in a blue and white stripe. I mean, it's a little bit risky getting a white chair, but we've managed to survive for over a year with it. So fingers crossed, continues that way. This is one of Bella's favorite chairs to relax on, but it's my personal favorite chair for bird watching because from here I get a prime view of the bird feeder. So I'd have to sit here with a cup of tea, watch the birds, that is bliss. And next to me, I have my little next table, my elephant ear plant and a print 
above me. And yeah, it's just a nice, simple, cozy corner. And that right there is our snug tour. It is one of our most used rooms in the house. It gets such heavy footfall because it's on the way through to the kitchen. So I love to just collapse into here with a cup of tea and relax. And I actually think, I actually think it might be one of my favorite rooms of the house, just because of the colors, especially the combination of the green and the mustard, it just makes me so happy. So really hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. If you do like these room tours, let me know by hitting thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe, and there's plenty more room tours to come. So stay tuned.